Welcome in this tutorial. We're going to see and learn more about Moodle. We are going to look at methods and ways that we can be able to have a Moodle platform for ourselves and for free so that we can be able to use it for practice and, uh, and, and, and other things. So to start with, there's a, a platform called Genomio. So I'm going to open a new browser. So www.g nomio.com okay enter yes it brings us direct to here you can also just come and say google genomio and you should be fine it will take you right to genomio so if i go i go to google um i say genomio here it is it takes me to the same same link genomio um dot com so what I need to do here is um, I have to give a name for my site and then automatically it will finish with .genomio.com. So I can say maybe, um, maybe I can say John, John Doe, that is my name, John Doe, do, uh, John Doe, uh, let me say 20. Uh, that will be the, my site, the name of my site. And my email, I can say maybe uh, John Doe at, at 123.com, something like that. And then go ahead, say, uh, choose the language you want, and then say, I've read the instructions, then click Create Site. If I check my email, you can see I have an email from Genomia already here, support. So upon opening your email, you receive the URL address to your site, and then you're going to receive your username, you're going to receive your password. And of course, you're going to read the terms of service there. And in case you need support, that is the URL you're going to look at. So let me go direct to my uh, site now that I have my URL and my username and password. Upon clicking on my site URL, it takes me directly here. And since I'm using a uh, Google Chrome, it wants me to deactivate or close my ad blocker. So just click close. And then I click on login. So once I log in and I've put already my username, pass, uh, my username and my password is in there and I'm going to click login. All right. Again, it's coming. So let me just close. So you can be in the edit mode. You can activate the edit mode there. So if you have ad blockers in your browser, you may need to deactivate them because you really have troubles working around this platform. So you're going to have this platform and you're going to enjoy it for a very long time. So you're not going to be limited. You do not need subscription where you're going to pay money or maybe your site will expire in this number of days. It's going to be free for you. So uh, you, this is the home button. All right. Ads blocker. So the home button, uh, you, the settings are here. So basically, this is your Moodle site. So you can change a lot of things. Your Moodle site name, you can say, let's say, uh, Amima uh, e-learning uh, uh, platform. And then the short name is maybe, let me say, e-learning. E-learning, 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 e-learning. OK, e-learning creatives. That's nice. And then, yeah, so this is basically it. So you may choose what you want your users to see when they get the for, uh, front page of the site home. And uh, what, so there are two, when the user has not yet logged in and what the user should see when they are already um, logged into the site. So list, displaying the list of courses is something cool. So that is it. So I'm gonna save changes there. So, okay, you can see now my name has changed up here, e-learning pl platform, etc., etc. So right here, you can go even to your profile, admin user. You can go change some two, three things here as well. So click in the edit mode, and then you're going to change your profile. You can, you can, you can add, you can change the username from the default admin so that you use something else. And then you can change the password. Then I point to note as you go there. The password has got criteria. It has criteria. So um, the, 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 the criteria is it has eight characters. So read that carefully. Uh, and then you, before you change. 
So you can also go ahead and uh, put even an image. Yeah, you can put an image here. So I don't have an image right now. So I can put that. So update profile and you continue. So this is a very nice way of working with Moodle. So you can go to my courses. You realize you don't have a courses. Okay, I understand. So you can come to my courses and basically create one. So how do you create your courses? Site administration is here. Uh, go to courses and say um, create one. So normally you, you may need to have a category before you create a course. So um, let me just create one. So you can add a new course. This is the add a new course button here. Uh, right, let me just go add a new course. Great. Uh, huh, let me say introduction uh, to Moodle. That's my new course. Um, uh, Moodle is the short name. Uh, so the category I was talking about here, you can create, if you have a large number of courses you want to host in your platform, you might need one to categorize them. For example, uh, maybe into uh, departments, maybe you're in school and you have the CS department, you have the uh, hospitality, food and beverage, business department, so that when you create a course, you align it or you put it in the correct category. So right now we don't have category. There's a default category, which is category one. So we're going to work with that first. So you can choose automatically Moodle gives you a one year span uh, for the course. All right. So that is basically it. So let the day start. Maybe, yeah, that time is okay. You can give a description here, et cetera, et cetera. You can choose the course format. You want topics, social. You can experiment with this so that instead of having topic one, you have maybe week one, week two, something like that. Uh, appearance, how you want the course to appear. The course completion, uh, you do complete uh, completion tracking, yes, for activities. That is very, very important. Okay, so save and display. So once I save and display, okay, close that. Good. So already introduction to Moodle course has been has opened, and you can do a lot. So already here you change. You can uh, you can add an activity or resource in every single topic. If you're in editing mode, you can add uh, an activity. So let me add in topic two. You see the uh, activities are here, the resources are here. So we've covered the book resource, the file folder label page activities are here assignment we have uh, the discussion forum right here we have um the quiz where is the quiz okay i'm not seeing right there the quiz is here so this is how you add activities and resources in your learning management system within a course right so let me go back so i'm going to go back using the buttons up here so i'm going to click dashboard Okay, close that. All right, let me go home. Close that. So already when I go back home, available courses, there is one. Okay, there is one user there. So um, this is how you go about creating a course. And uh, site administration can allow you also to add users and uh, etc. So how do you go to users? Just go to users, add a new user. Then you enter their details there. Uh, for, okay, for for our students, they normally, if, you, if it is your student, the username should be like, you know, an admission number or something. And then you put in uh, their password there. If you would want the, to have a very common password so that the user can come and change later, this is where you say it. So you can say uh, the password here should be like one, two, three, and uh, uh, four or something like that. And then you say false password change uh, later. So that is how you are going to change. But as you put in the password, make sure you observe the, 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 the rules here. It must be eight characters and above. So maybe one, two, three, four may not really work for you so well. So put in their first name, the email address, very critical, etc., etc. And then you can even add their picture here and then you create a new user. So, so far, I don't want to add a user here. So you'll do it later. So continue. Right. So that is how you do it. Um, back to site admin, uh, there is what you call appearance. In appearance, you can add things like logos to your site. You can add something like a logo. So let me just click logo here. So you see, uh, you look for logos and you can be able to add. So let me see if I can get a logo. I go to files, 
Uh, I don't know if I can get one right now. Okay, you can drag and drop files here. So I'll get I'll get the logos later. So you can drag a picture here so that you have a logo, compact logo. The same you put here, the same you should be able to put on the other side. All right, let's look at plugins. Um, okay, we do not have. Okay, we cannot add. We may not be able to add a plugin, but you you can you can have an overview of. Um, let me see. Yeah, you can have the overview of the plugins that have already been created, but it may not really necessarily have a, a plugin, uh, add a, a plugin or something like that. So this is good. This is good. This is okay. So anything else? Not much. Um, yeah. So that is how you're going to work. So go to courses, make sure you have as many courses as possible so that you're able to help your users. So you can turn off editing mode anytime you want. Click back home and you can customize your site to look as good as you wish. So that is how you're gonna have to access Genomio. So you make sure you keep your link in a safe place, your password, uh, and your username, you keep them safe. So thank you very much for now. Uh, all the best.